Hey guys, Irish Turtle here, and welcome back to my Feed the Beast series. So, uh, I've not been on for a while, so I've got to apologise for that. It's just been a bit hectic with The Witcher 3 coming out, and obviously time's not been on my side, so I've kind of had to just record when I can. So these, this hasn't been going out as often as I'd like it to, but we're back. So, last episode, if you remember, we were going to make a Tesseract. Now, the plan is still to do that, uh, and we're going to get it done now, today, actually. So, sorry, I'm trying to fix my mic there. <laughs> so, hopefully... So what I've done here is I've made a smeltery, which is basic stuff, it's really easy. And I went and made myself some, not resident ender, sorry, uh, enderium, which was a mix of uh, normal ingots in here. And then I've been getting it out through the casting basin, like so. Now I've got a fair few blocks of that already. Um, I'm just going to try and empty it all out, make sure it's all sorted. And I feel like I've run out of that now. I'm going to try and drain it all out. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to make the next part of my Tesseract. I've actually already made a couple of these, so I say hopefully I've actually made made what I needed already. Just going to get out the rest of the rubbish that I don't need. One more of those, that'll get me the block of these, but yeah. So I've already got six of these Enderian blocks, and I'm going to just make the Tesseract frame. Now, I only need one more Tesseract frame, I've already made a fair few of them, and I've got them all set up with my Draconic Evolution stuff, so I'm going to take you out. So I've got 56 of those. 56 Enderian Mingots, which is more than enough, uh, and I'm going to make some hardened glass. Now, the way to do this that I've been doing is getting obsidian and pouring molten lead on it. Now, obviously, that's not difficult, really. Um, it's actually one of the easy methods I've found for making hardened glass. And we just let that go. And there's my hardened glass, see? Now I'm going to go and make one, two, three, four. I need three more of those, so. Go down here, go one, two, three. Back up here. And we're going to make the next part of our tesseract. And I hope that I've got enough. I should have enough. It, should, it takes about one each time, so that's alright. Got myself some tin ung ungots there as well. Uh, but yeah, so obviously, like I say, I've been making uh, a fair few of these, and it's all to power my big draconic evolution stuff. Once I've done that, we're then going to get into an ME system that's powered properly, and then I'm going to move back into uh, some of the other stuff. Go try and do, hopefully, some runic dungeons if I can get it to work. But at the minute, it doesn't seem to want to work properly. Can't figure out why. Uh, I just know that it's not working <laughs> the way it should be. So. I haven't got a diamond, that would be useful. Get it from my bag. Take out my diamonds. <laughs> I'm always prepared normally for stuff. And there. And there. And there's my Tesseract frame. Now, to fill it, we're going to use the same method again with the casting basin, but we need resident ender. Now, obviously, I'm just going to get rid of whatever's left in there. I had nine ingots, I should have just done it that way. Oh, I still got nine. Still did. Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put a block of solid ender in and melt it all up. And we're going to then. Uh, that should be enough. If not, I've got a load of ender eyes just here on the right anyway. Not ender eyes, sorry. Um, liquid ender? Nope. Uh, ender pearls. There we go. I was talking to something normally rubbish. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this fills it up really quickly. Which means I don't have to worry too much. Ooh, is that done? Just wait for that to finish faffing about. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. And there's my full tesseract. Now all I need to do is turn the tesseract frame, which I have here, into a normal tesseract. Now to do that. All we're going to do is click on there, shift click there, and we're done. I had everything there already. It's all just basic normal materials. It's not difficult stuff. So we're going to take all of this. I'll tell you what we're going to do actually. Uh, we're going to take that, break that down. I'm going to put all of these back because I carry too much crap around on me all these times. Uh, lead is up there. Silver is there. You don't have a place, so you can go in there, which is my junk folder at the minute. Let's just 
just uh, rubbish I've picked up over the times. Uh, tin ingots can go down here for now. Gold can also go down here, and we're going to put these away. So tin and gold. Oh, that's bronze. Never mind. Uh, I actually don't have a place for that. Go there for now. Uh, right. So anyway, back to what I was doing. We're going to go to magic and machines now. I've set up most of this, I think, the way it should be. Uh, what we've done in between episodes, hello little bunny, um, is is we've set up this system here. Now, we remember this, we made this the last few episodes ago. I've now made some uh, energy pylons and some tesseracts. Now, these are all set up. I've got one set up back at my big reactor, and we've got our tesseract sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here, go take out my energy pylon and my block of glass, and I'll show you guys exactly how you make this quickly. Whoop. Energy pylon, that's what I'm making. So it's not cheap, but it's relatively simple. You get two each time, so I've only done this four times to get the full eight. Um, but what we're going to do next is we're going to go up here, and place you on there like that, and we're going to place you on there like that. Now, this is going to feed... Whoop outwards, so if you can see it's blue and it's sending particles that way. That means it's sending into this, whereas this one is the other colour and the particle effects go out, which means it's sending it out. Now, I've already got this set up, so that's the frequency, and you're going to do not that, not that, you're going to receive energy. So that means this should now, hopefully, if I've set it up right, Okay, you are meant to be receiving energy. I may have placed the test right in the wrong place, or my uh, previous one might not be working at the minute. <laughs> this is what happens when we pre plan things. Uh, you are 222, and you are sending energy. That's why. I think there was something wrong, it wasn't right. And you're sending energy. So now you should be going down very slowly which is exactly what I want because my plan is I'll go back here to have two of the tesseracts sending so it'll take a bit of time but it'll speed it up no end so that one is also going to be Oop. receiving I'm going to do it for you and I'm going to tick and now, as you can see, these have got blue particle effects coming off. And they're sending energy to this, which is going to slowly stack up energy. And that'll fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Uh, I've got two more here. I'm going to set these up for some other energy uh, methods that I might try and sort out off camera just to try and speed this up. And then these four here are going to be for machines that I'm going to be running. So, like I said, today's episode, the plan is to do some ME stuff. Now, I want to say the plan is sort of already in motion, as I've kind of gone through some of the stuff that I need to do for it off camera. I've kind of set up my room, I've had a look around on the internet and I've kind of found what I think is the best methods for... Oops, sorry, that's loaded. <laughs> is for um, gaining ME stuff. So we're going to go quickly down here. I'll just show you the room set up first. What I've got here is my room for ME. Now, as you can see, I've got a little tesseract here, hidden away in the corner. This actually needs to be, um, let's say, let's say 100 for now. And you're going to be ME creating room. No, AE, sorry. A, E, 2, uh, machines tick and tick right so that one's obviously not turned on with any energy but it's sort of sorted uh, I've also made some of the uh, ME glass cable here but uh, I updated it so hopefully I should still get all the achievements again because normally the, the achievements reset after every um, well after every reset which is pretty good I say pretty good it's a bit of a nuisance at times but um, hopefully if I have all the information I need 
Mm, I seem to have lost my notes. <laughs> I normally save some notes, so I've got stuff planned. Oh well, we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way, which is just uh, going through it on our own. Energistics. Right. So, first things first, we're going to make some pure fluid crystals. Nope, no, we're not. We're going to make. <laughs> See, this is the issue. I had it all planned out, and I've lost my notes, so. I'm going to have to wing it for a minute now. Uh, okay, uh, Flux Dust, that's what I need. Which is there, which comes from Flux Crystals. Which come from one charge certs, uh, certs quartz, one nether quartz, and a redstone dust. So redstone, charged, and nether. Okay. Now I believe we've got all of that sorted, so... Uh, one redstone, one nether, and oh look at that, we've got 11 charged, so it's not bad. Now what you've got to do with this is you've got to throw it into a puddle. This just means any body of water, so if we throw it in here, that should... Aha! Look at that. See, we get flux crystals, which is what we're going to need. Now I'm going to have to make a water source down here, I think, because otherwise I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I'll sort that out later. As for the minute, uh, we're just going to keep going with how it is. <laughs> like I said, this episode's not been planned very well. I've not been back for a while. Had water there. What an idiot am I? <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to need a charger, I think, is the next step. Which is where... Can't find it now. Um, <laughs> this is the annoying thing when notes disappear. There it is, charger. So we're going to need some iron and... The fluids crystals, so just go back up here quickly. Grab a stack of iron for now. Use this crafting table. Didn't want to, but oh well. And we're gonna make um one of you. No we're not. First of all, we're gonna make an energy pylon. So well, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to actually have to re-sort out, I think, my plan, because if it's disappeared, so I'm going to get that sorted. I'm going to be right back. Hey, guys and girls, and we're back again. So, um, basically, all I've done is I've done a little bit of research. It's taken me a couple of days. Uh, again, I'm apologising for this video going out uh, a bit later on than I ever intended it to. I wanted to t keep the series going at a relatively fast rate, but time got the better of me, and, you know... I kind of haven't had a chance to make a video in a while, so you know, I'm gonna try and get a couple of them done and out and ready. Uh, if you've noticed, in between the, the cuts, I've actually changed the flooring. It's actually uh, a different kind of factory block now. Kind of makes the place look a little bit nicer. Uh, we've got all this sorted in here for our ME stuff, and we're gonna get right into that. So, um, as we made a minute ago, uh, we made some fluids crystals, which I've now made 64 of, and I've got myself some other stuff. And we're gonna go right on to making an energy cell so energy cell and we need the applied energistics energy cell so we're going to need some flux dust set crystal whoop, grindstone have I got a grindstone? I've got a pulverizer that'll do the job uh, quartz glass and some I think I can use charged yes yeah, so that's fine or certus which I've got a lot of anyway um, somewhere. <laughs> it's all been a bit hectic and I've kind of put everything wherever I could. Right, so we're going to use one of these pulverizers here. I'm going to borrow, not that one. Uh, that'll do. Can put two of you in there. And we're going to grab you straight out. Do I only get one per thing? Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Four. Oh well, so I thought I might get a bit more putting it in there, but I don't. So I've got four of those. I need some quartz glass, which is just search quartz around some diamond. Uh, not some diamond, some glass. What's going on? I'm having a, <laughs> I'm having a day of it. Uh, and I have some search quartz up here anyway. I had some charged search quartz as well. Uh, 
It's just there. Ah. Something's going on there. Anyway, uh, and we're going to put that into here. We're going to put uh, one, two, three, four. That's a furnace. <laughs> Could put that in there. I'd say I'd, I get annoyed quite easily at this sort of stuff. Right, that's that sorted. Right, and we're going to get some glass, which fortunately I have a, a load of just here. Take a load, it's fine. Uh, we're going to make. Nope. We're going to make. We're going to make the glass first, is what we're going to do. Oh my god, come on. Glass. Nether quartz dust, certs quartz, it's all good. I'm one short, and now, god, it's been so long since I've done Minecraft. <laughs> I'm getting everything wrong at the minute. I tell you, it's been a while. I've obviously been doing my Witcher series, which has been quite a big thing for me because I wanted to get that out pretty much at the fastest rate I could, as it meant it's a big series for me, and it was obviously one of the things that was going to make my channel a bit bigger. So, you know, I apologise for uh, taking the time to do that. That's probably my fault more than anything else. Right, so we're going to need to go back down here. Now, I believe I might need to make an energy acceptor first to power this Tesseract to take the power. I've made some ME cables uh, briefly off uh, Obviously, like I said last episode, we've got all this sorted out. This is all going to make sense once it's all been plugged in and sorted, so I'm going to put that there for now. Uh, we're then going to make an energy acceptor. So we're going to need a four more. Ah, see, this is my this is my pain. This is my pain. <laughs> it's one of those days where I've not planned ahead like I should have done. I've just sort of got on and thought, right, I owe the guys a video, and I've not done one in ages. And you know, I've kind of just gone to part with it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Iron and a flux crystal, so that's fine. Uh, so I've got some iron here. Got some glass. I already had glass, don't know why I did that. And we're going to go do you, you, you. And then we're going to go you. There we go. Right. Uh, now I should probably start putting things away because otherwise I'm going to start running out of space and. That will be the bane of my life. <laughs> just gonna quickly check this, just make sure it's not stacked with anything that can't take. Nope, it's all good. Yeah, I've been having some issues with uh, items. Obviously, the Ender Quarry picks up things like chests and um, the contents of chests. So I've had this stuff here, which has become a bit of a nuisance, as I've got nowhere to store it. And obviously, this system is kind of null with that. But I'm hopefully going to have it so the system. Oh, wrong way. So the system runs. Um, on something a little bit different and then it will mean that there we go. I was kinda of worried there that might break. Oh have you got are you full already? Nice. So I think that should just fill straight away like that. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some charges and some ME glass cables. Now these cables are what's going to be fueling everything. Uh, we're going to get. I've used one of these boxes up. Damn it. Um, take you out. Store you in there for now. This thing doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I've actually used a stabilized mob spawner for this, which is how I've been spawning enemies, and it looks a bit like a normal spawner from a distance. But um, the issue with this at the minute is it's not spawning people, and it says to use a notch apple to ignore spawn requirements. Because obviously. If I turn the lights, is that on or off? On, off. They should be able to spawn, but they don't, and I can't figure out why. It's just one of those things. It's going to be a pain. I can feel it, and I'm going to need to figure out how to change it. But at the minute, I can't. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have that there. And that there. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to have something in here that will take, um, basically. I actually need some. Oh. You know what? This should do it. Uh, okay, we're going to have some charges basically, and they're going to be powered by the ME glass cables. So we're going to make some ca cables. Uh, there we go. 
so we're going to need some quartz fibre and flux crystals. That's just made from glass and any kind of quartz. So you know what? We're going to stick an entire stack of nether quartz just straight into one of these pulverizers as everything seems to want to do it. So I might as well just have something ready. So I've got that. And we're going to need to make some of that. So let's see how much do we need. Three. Okay, I only need three, so that'll be fine. That'll have made me three already. Sorted. So this factory is brilliant. <laughs> and that, and that, and that. And that. Take you. And then it's two for every one. So. Da, da, da. And there we have 12. Right, so this should be enough to hopefully work. Oop. Got too many rooms at the minute. We have to start organising things a bit better. There we go, that's all hooked up now, and that'll power the rest of the items that we're going to see as we go through this. So, um, what we need here now is some charges. Now, charges are going to be what makes my normal Certus Quartz into charged. So, the best method I've found for this is to get uh, make a charger, obviously. I'm going to make three to speed this up. Uh, there's my charger, so I'm going to need iron and that, make three, okay. I think I actually ha already have iron, but I haven't got a crafting table down here. <laughs> Probably should have thought ahead, really, for that. But like I said, this is this is just an impromptu episode. I'm kind of just trying to get as much out of the way as I can. One, two, three. And obviously, like I say, what the other bonus is, there's been so many updates recently that I haven't got any of the achievements, so it's kind of like... It's kind of like I've not done anything, really, in ages. Now, I'm actually going to need to input a filter onto you. So we need to dig you, dig you out, <laughs> mine you out. So what will happen is these will charge. This is already charging, so that's all good. These will charge anything I put into it. So I'm going to need an item filter. Or have I got one in there already? No, I haven't. I might need to make another one of those. Um, <laughs> I really do plan ahead. Not. Okay, uh, you're gonna have in you uh, some charged certus quartz. So, this will only take now charged certus quartz when it finds it. So, that means this, this is a retrieval node. So, basically, it looks through any of the inventories here and it'll take what it can. Now, the way this works, or it's going to work rather, is like so. I'm gonna put in here some normal certs quartz tell you what, let's just put in okay and then these will charge and then they get taken into here and they're all charged certs quartz so basically it's like an automated system it'll take them out put them in and it works out brilliantly because it means I'm basically stocking up on materials and then the bonus of all of this is I can do this voila You'd never even know it was there. And we put you back in there. Having a bit of a lag spike there. But yeah, so that's basically how I'm doing that. Uh, I might need to... Let's try and make a factory block, but obviously I'm not doing it that way. Um, but yeah, so obviously that means I'll be picking stuff up a lot quicker. And, and this at the back will be holding all of my certs quartz. So it's just going to go straight through. And we're going to have more charged certs, which is exactly what I need. So, uh, now we've done that, we're going to move on to making some crystal growth accelerators. Stall growth. There we are. Right, so I'm going to need some f fluix block, which is going to take four of those. I'm going to need to make four of these, as so I'm going to have four, one either side. Um, I really do need to... I know what I need to do. We're going to do Britannia next, and I'm going to make some stuff to help me and have a portable crafting table. That is That is my next plan. I've decided now <laughs> that's exactly what we're going to do because I'm tired of having to go upstairs every time I need anything now have I got any quartz glass? oh I do, look at that, see I've got spare and glass cables, didn't have any of those spare but that's not a problem et voila going to need a few more of those 
Oh, what the hell is that noise? I'll tell you what, some of the noise in this game do my head in. Um, and then do. There's one. I'm going to need to make some more quartz glass, which might be a bit of a pain. Hello, can I not make. I'm out of dust. See, you run out of things so quickly. <laughs> It just takes time to do this mod pack. There's nothing else uh, wrong with it, really, other than that. So we're going to do you. going to do you. One, two. going to do you. There we go. One, two, three. See? It's like I planned it. Right, now these are going to go over here. going to go one, two, three, four. Now, I don't know if these are connected. Hello? Are we connected? Where's my ME glass cable? I had some ME cables a second ago. I don't know where I've put them. Hmm. It's an odd one. I appear to have put some stuff down and left it somewhere where I can't find it. Which is it's typical for me. Uh, right, so we're just going to go... One, two... Yeah, two will do for now. Bam, bam. Don't need that many. I'm pretty sure I already got that. But okay. No? Okay. Um. Anyway, as I was saying, it'll do. And you. And that'll power these on, which is awesome. Um. So what happens now is I can actually put. Where are they? Uh, I need grains, that's what I need. Uh, not grains. Seeds? I can't remember what they're called now. Ah, these. These are what I need. Uh, I need one of each of these. Which comes from getting sand and the dust together. I may need a load of sand. Might have to go back to uh, quarrying out... Not quarrying, yeah, quarrying out some of the more useful areas as... I don't actually know how much sand I have. I have no sand. I have no sand. How is that possible? I have no sand. I can't have no sand. Surely there we go. Right. So we're gonna close this door. As I can hear spiders and all sorts of shit. Uh, right. We're gonna go like so. And this this is a way of basically doubling everything you have. So you put sand in. We get some fluids crystals. No, we're not. Oh, it's fluids dust. Damn it. <laughs> I was such an idiot. Uh, where's pulverizer? That'll do. Thank you. Put you in there. Um, put you. Got you. Can I do charged with that? That'd be awesome if I can. Certus, nether, and no, I can't. So I just need some certus, which I have now because I used it all. I'm doing well today. <laughs> um. But yeah, this will be a way of doubling all the stuff I have. So we're going to double up on our stuff. So what we're going to do, stuff. <laughs> oh dear. So we're going to get you and you. And we're going to make that. And we're going to get you. And we're going to get that. Now these so swords, seeds, oh my dear. What am I doing today? Losing it gonna have to get some more sand sorted soon but that, that's easy enough so what we do is you can put these seeds into any form of water and they'll slowly grow but the difference today is that if I chuck these in here I'm picking a really slow method of doing that I just need to ch that and they'll take about 30 seconds or so I can actually chuck those in as well and eventually, if these are turned on, these are online, these are online, yep, all four of them are online. Basically what will happen is these will turn into the full uh, certus, or fluid seeds, or whatever you want. And the idea of that is that it means I can sto sto slowly start to make more useful items now. Oh, look, I had a low cable there. I know I'd done something. Uh, these should be 
working their way towards getting to 100%. Yeah, so 37%. Basically, it shows you by how much they have uh, slowly grown. So I'm going to need to chuck all these back. If I chuck them all together, they would have uh, obviously gone at a better speed sort of together. But obviously that was me being stupid. So I'm going to need to make an item filter um, for this next bit. So item filter. So that's just stick, string, and redstone. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, have I got string? I should have some in here. Look at that, stick. Four sticks. That'll do. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. And I have redstone in my inventory. I am prepared. Like never before. Right, and this. One more. Nope. Okay, I wasn't the right one. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I think these are all grown. Nope, not quite. So we'll see them change in a minute. I do like to muck about. Um, but ooh. So I'm going to try and find some sort of toggle that I can put on to this ME cable here so that I can turn this bit on and off, but I'm kind of struggling at the minute to find one. It's been a bit of a, been a, bit of a long day, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, so I want to put you in here. I want to get one of you. Two of you you back. And there we go. So you'd never even know the cables were there. And I think, I think, they're done. So I have pure nether and pure fluix. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make my life a lot easier. And I'm going to put one in there, and one of those in there. And then when I get my pure certis, I'll also do that there. But uh, obviously, I've not got any. Can I do it with charged? I don't know if I can. I might have a look at that. But um, then I just put this... Oh, hello, there's an item filter in there. That would have been a good idea to know. What an idiot am I? <laughs> and I also need to put a world interaction because now if I put these there... Ah, look at that. See, it takes them up and it puts them in. And that'll do the same with that. So that'll mean that will drag them all in and put them down. Now what I've done up here is a system so that I can put some wall here. I can put some sort of wall down, stop myself walking in, which will make my life a bit more comfortable. And basically I'm going to have a dropper crate here. This is from Britannia, it's just an open crate. Open crates aren't difficult to make. They're really basic. Um, open crate. And it's basically just that, but without the bottom. And you just need living wood, which come living wood planks, which come from living wood which I've shown you to make in my Britannia episodes uh, and then basically it means that anything put in there will just drop straight down and you should not be in there, you should be in there I'm gonna have to lock you on Ty because you like being a pain in the ass and that'll put that in there, no problems he says praying so that's that basically sorted now we're going to move on to sorting out some of the more complicated things with this pack. Now one of the items we need is inscribers. Now I'm going to make, I'm looking at making one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine inscribers plus two chests at the top, which I'm then going to automate. So to begin with, we're going to make this the easy way. We're going to just go inscriber. That's what I need. So I need sticky piston, pure flux, which I've just made, and some iron. Sticky piston, then we need some slime or some that with some pistons. So we're going to make nine of these. So I'm going to need uh, that two times nine, 18. 18. 18 sticky pistons. See, I can do maths. <laughs> which means I'm going to need 18 pistons. Pistons are made from cobble, wood, iron and redstone. I've got 
iron, we need more, so we'll take you. Um, got redstone. I have cobblestone. And I have some wood, which I can just turn into wood. So, uh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. And we're going to go you, you, you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 15? 16? What am I missing? What am I missing? Cobblestone. Nope. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, yep. And one, two. So that's 18 of you. And we'll take you out. And then we're going to need some rubber or slime balls now. Just thinking, I think I have a slime soul actually. Oh. Ah, look at that. See, I come prepared. Are you gonna work? Are you gonna spawn a slime for me? No? Okay. Wee! Uh, there's a slime island just here. Um, so. Basically, once we've done this, we're going to be able to make some of the more complicated things, like the storage systems, which is exactly the only thing I'm actually making this for. Is it's it's basically that I want, ah, like, I want. Yep. Right, I need a couple more of those. Uh, yeah, I want, as I'm trying to get to, allude to, um, to have an ME system where I can just hold all of my items because it's becoming a pain simply using this King Slime somewhere using um, my inventory system with the crates because it, it fills up quickly I run out of space and you did oh god I hate that noise There's so many slimes everywhere slimes slimes fucking slimes Got me 16 of those, so that's almost done. I can hear a slime. Where's the slime? Give me slime balls. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to move to a more. What? There's another king slime? Where? Let's use some slime javelins on him because I just never use these otherwise. Oh, God, stop lagging. Wow, it's when I do the javelin. It's like lag ho. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Kid you not, Wyvern sword is just the most useful thing I've ever had. There's another flipping. Cl oh my god. This game is just constantly like King Slime, King Slime, King Slime. <laughs> I am never rid of them. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I needed sticky pistons, I would have left them by now. Um, so I think we're going to move on to the next, w the inscribers in the next episode. Uh, once I've, there it is. There's two. Shit. Uh, yeah, we're going to move on to doing the uh, inscribers next episode. As I'm kind of running out of time now, and we're coming up to like half an hour on this, but maybe a bit longer. Gotcha. So hopefully you guys have sort of found this episode interesting. I, I apologise again for the fact that I've not done one in a while. Like I say, it's just been hectic. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I've had a lot of games on my plate to sort of start recording for. And, you know, I feel bad that I've left this series for so long. I mean, because I really enjoy this. I really enjoy doing Feed the Beast. It's probably one of my favourite things to play. And it's just great for killing time, relaxing, all that sort of stuff, you know. There's another fucking island up there. Um, but, yeah... You know, I've just enjoyed all of it. It's been shit. I've dropped my pickaxe. <sighs> that was lucky. Um, but yeah, I've, I've enjoyed everything I've been doing so far, and I've been enjoying the series a lot. It's something I shouldn't have left, really. Yeah, this just lags. Look at that. Look at that. These are going to be destroyed now. I'm going to leave them in this water for now. Anything else I don't want? Don't want you. 
keep you. I'll keep everything else. That's a point. Just put that back in my inventory. Uh, inventory. You. No. You. Where's that book gone? Oh yeah, sorry about that. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I've done a bit, fair bit today. I've sort of caught up. My plan is, I think, is to obviously get the semi system done. And then we're going to go back into Britannia, finish that off. Maybe we'll have a look back into Witchery, but I'm still a bit confused about that at the minute. I don't really understand it. I need to do a bit more reading on it. So that'll be something that I'll have to look into soon. Uh, for you guys. I'm actually planning on trying to get a couple of episodes recorded at once, so then I've got something to put out for you guys every so often. Well, every so often. At least every couple of days. So, like I said, I apologise for the delay and how long it's been, but I'm going to fix that now. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.